showing you guys my planner and journal lineup for 2023. I know that 2023 is a couple weeks away but I decided to go ahead and do this because like I told you guys in a previous vlogmas vlog is that Mika and I are going to do vlogmas a little bit different this year. We're not going to do vlogs every single day. There may be a day that Mika uploads a gaming video, I upload a talking video or a makeup video or some something along the way but there will still be um, you guys might hear some background noise obviously I'm still gonna consider this as a vloggish type so I do apologize for background noise but I decided to do a sit down talk to talk video um, because I was going through my planners and journals and for 2023 I told myself that I'm not gonna purchase any journals or planners or notebooks to write in until I use the ones that I have now the reason why I'm challenging myself to this is because every time I shop on Amazon or on the internet or in store when I was shopping in store, I would always venture off to the planner and journal section. So instead of buying things that I need, I mean you know you don't necessarily need like craft material items, um, instead of buying like stickers and washi tape and like pins and things that I actually would need, quote, um, I would buy more planners and more journals. So. I'm recording this video to not only remind myself but also inspire someone else to use up the things you have before you keep purchasing more of the same thing. Because honestly you guys, I do that a lot. Whenever I'm on Amazon or I'm at Walmart or I'm shopping online and I see a really pretty like 2023 planner, I'm like, oh I'm going to buy it, I'm going to use it every single day. And it literally, I'll use it for like a couple weeks and then it sits because I buy a new one. It's like. I have a lot so I was really ashamed of all the paper that was going to waste and I'm always running out of stickers and washi tape and things and I'm just like you know I'd rather buy I'd rather use my money wisely and budget it and buy the things that I'm running out of versus the things that I'm over exploding with you know like planners and journals because they're all basically used the same way you write down what you're doing, you journal, blah blah blah. They're just different covers, different formats out there, but they're all useful for the same reason, you know. So that is why I decided to go through my collection and challenge myself to this. So without further ado, all of our disclaimers and our links are in our description. Make sure you always read our description because that is where you guys will find out exciting news, news, general things, and us on different social media. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So I'm going to start off with the planners first. Um, so the first one is more of a daily planner. So this is a tiny happy planner. And I actually like reconstructed it myself. Like I chose different discs for it. Um, these papers are actually happy scrappies. This is the Honey Bee Shop die cut. And then inside is the happy planner paper. But um, I decided to put some grid paper and then I have some line paper. This is going to be worked as a daily planner. So this is going to be where I put the most important things that we have to do in our day. For instance, doctor's appointments, bill day, Mika's testosterone shot. Everything that's important will go in this planner and it will be with me throughout the day. For my weekly planner, I decided to go with this. So I've had all these planners and journals for probably more than a year. So I definitely need to start using them up. If you guys remember, my friend Vanessa actually got me this in 2019, I think, or 2020, something along the lines of there, um, for either a birthday or Christmas present. And I ended up chunking it up and I only used it for a couple of weeks. I'll even prove it to you guys. And I ended up switching back and forth from different planners and I feel bad because the time it took me to set this planner up and, you know, the time it took my friend Vanessa to include things to add to it, you know, I told myself that it's not pretty enough to sit around, it's pretty enough to use. So I definitely want to use it this year, but this was one of the last spreads I did 
and I just miss it so much. Like it's so decked out, it's so cute. And the cool thing about it is I actually have a daily planner in here, which I'm thinking about using for social media so I can like time my posts and everything and also have a weekly planner so I don't need a social media planner. I just need this one right here and use up the, the little booklets that are inside here. I also have a little journal in here that I could use for like grocery hauls and stuff. I just find that so functional and I'm so mad at myself that I didn't realize that before. But like this year, 2023, well 2022 I learned a lot, okay? I went through a really traumatic health issue. Um, which I'll be explaining in another Vlogmas video, which will be a heart-to-heart -heart video or like a chit-chat video. I haven't decided what I'm going to name it. Um, but when you see that video, you'll understand why I felt the way I felt. Um, and why I said, and why I'm saying it right now. And that's because I didn't realize life in general. And now that I have gone through it, uh, I think I see life differently. And so... Looking through all my journals and planners, I'm like, I want something where if I would ever pass away or anything like that, Mika could have something that is filled up that is about me. For instance, I have this bullet journal right here that actually it's a weekly planner, but I bullet journal in it, which means I don't use any stickers or washi, I basically draw and color in here. And then I write like a little journal entry. So for instance, here's a layout. So I do like a list of things that we have to do and then I write a journal entry. And I looked at it and I only filled up this much, okay? I have all of this. And these planners on in, or on Amazon, they're not that cheap. This one was like 30 some dollars. And then the cover itself was like 20 some dollars. So a $50 journal that's really being set there going to waste, I told myself, I'm gonna start using it because you know, this could be something that Mika could have whenever I pass away. It could also be something that I could look back on and with her future kids, like I could show them these and show them how cool it is and to, tell them to, to try it out themselves and try out their creativity side. You know, I used to tell myself that I couldn't draw, that I couldn't ever, you know, draw past the stick figure, and I proved myself wrong by using one of these and setting it up as a bullet journal and setting down and going on Pinterest and finding how to draw step by step, like animals and just things in general. Like, I'll even show you guys another page in here. Like, I never thought I could draw you know I always saw Mika's drawings and he was the artist you know I'm not saying I'm an artist but you know I, I did something that I always thought I couldn't this is one of the pages I'm really proud of it might not look nothing to you but it's something big to me and you know I just see life differently now so that is why I'm also doing it as well. So I'm really excited about this. And um, yeah, I love the I love the uh, cover for it and everything. So I'm going to start that back up. I love doing that before I got sick. That was something I was doing every single day. Now, I might not do it every single day. I did promise myself I would pick up that book at least twice a week and sit down and draw a cute page for a daily. But it won't be every single day. So for another journal, this is considered my gaming journal. So if you guys don't know, I am a gamer just like Mika. Um, I never really showed it on my social media because I was so into makeup and I was so into planning and everything in between, but I've always liked gaming. My brother and I, we grew up around games. We had PlayStation, we had Nintendo. I had a Nintendo, um, what was it called? A Nintendo... I'm having a brain fart. I used to remember it. What's that Nintendo called? That I used to, Game Boy Advanced. I used to have a Game Boy Advanced and Game Boy Color and we had a Nintendo 64 and PlayStation and I ended up learning about the Xbox when I moved over here with Mika and him and when Mika and I got our first apartment we had Xboxes. I've had a PSP before. I've had so many different types of game consoles and game gaming um systems and stuff like that so 
recently I've been into Disney and Dreamlight Valley and really into Animal Crossing still but I don't play it as often because um, it's a little bit harder now just because not a lot of people play and I was so used to playing with friends so it's kind of like not having a lot of people to talk to about Animal Crossing plus Mika stopped playing it so it's like but I need to get back into it because my grandma's island I need to finish it um I do play a lot of Roblox Adopt Me which is kind of what my journal has started for me now so this is all the notes and stuff I've took about Roblox Adopt Me I've even wrote down all the pets that I own and things like that um, so this is considered my gaming journal, and so I'm going to use this to just track notes of the games I'm playing, track notes of my level, my skill, things I need to do for quests, and etc, etc. So that is what I'm going to be using for my gaming journal. Now, the funny thing is, I did have a table of contents with all the gaming consoles that Mika and I had, but unfortunately we ended up getting the Switches later on, and so there was no space in here. And you can tell I've already labeled it as Shauna's Gaming Journal. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, you know, for instance, <laughs> so there's an Adopt Me calendar under Fortnite, and I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna put all the notes on every single page. I don't care if it's Adopt Me and Fortnite's on the same page. It's my journal and I could just color code it if I need to or put page flags next to it and have it hanging out the page so I know where to go. That is my excuse, but you could be more organized than that. But I'm like, you know, I don't want to waste another journal for a gaming when I could use it for something else. So yeah. Last but not least is this one. So I actually got this one a few months before I got sick actually. And it has butterflies on it. It's considered a planner. But I decided to dedicate this to my grandmother and write her notes when I'm feeling sad. So, and the good thing about this, it's not dated. Um, so, you know, I could just date it myself or I could just write in it. I'm just writing in it. And I've only used it a couple of times because I didn't always feel the need to grab it but I want to start using it a lot more um at first I was going to use it as a planner but then you know something was just telling me that my grandma would like this I guess because the butterflies and it's purple and you know so I did dedicated the front page to her I said letters to grandma and then everything I do I do it for you which is a quote that I thought about for her um it's the one I have on my Instagram because you know I've always told myself that whatever I do good in the world I want to do it for her under her name because I just want people to remember her and even though you never met her um she was a big part of me and if you are in my life or you are a friend of mine or a family member of mine you're always going to hear about her so that is why I'm going to be using that journal more often because I find myself getting sad more often, especially around the holidays. And I think it would help a lot if I write her little letters, even if she doesn't see them or read them. It feels comforting to know that I'm letting out energy, you know, that could be negative energy, sad energy, you know, anger of her being taken away from me when I was at such a young age, even though it sounds selfish. I do have times where I think that way, but I know it's selfish of me because she was suffering with cancer and stuff like that. So that is why I decided to dedicate that journal to her. And instead of it being a planner, I turned it into a journal. And it's really cute too. And I only got it for $6.99 at Dini's. So, yeah. Well, guys, that is all my planners and journals for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what your planners and journals are for 2023. And if you got inspired by this video, how did I inspire you? Let me know in the comments. We love you guys. And we'll see you guys in our next vlogmas. Peace.